All right. I have an important message for you all. So, I'm going to discuss my experience with when I had the coronavirus. So right now, while I'm recording this, the date is, um, it's like a few days before Halloween uh, of 2020. As many of you know, there's been the pandemic, coronavirus spreading everywhere. I live in Massachusetts, United States, and here in Massachusetts, towards the beginning of the pandemic, um, for the states with like the highest cases for quite a while, it was like New York, Massachusetts, and certain other states. So I was, uh, this state was one of those up there. Um, but in uh, recent months, like past, I don't know, three to five months, it's not been in Massachusetts uh, for the ones up there because a lot of people here in comparison to other states would be wearing masks and taking other sorts of guidelines uh, such as the businesses as well um, to prevent the coronavirus from spreading as much. But the cases are back on the rise, uh, which as I predicted, it would happen um, when it gets colder and colder uh, the season. Then also because I knew it would just spread in general more. Uh, so now to explain my experience with coronavirus. So I got it towards the beginning of the pandemic. It was it was when it was about a week. The week after everything kind of started shutting down in Massachusetts, I happened to go to Florida at that time, uh, so I might have gotten on the flight, or my sister just got back from Spain, uh, and I saw her. Could have been from that. It could have been from me clubbing there in Florida. Uh, but anyways, I was there for about five days, and then I came back and fell sick with coronavirus. Uh, I wasn't tested for it, to prove whether or not it was the coronavirus because at the time there was not widely available testing at all. The only people that were allowed to get tested were people literally like dying in the hospital uh, or if you had a ton of money, you could uh, get a test. Um, so, but I, I can just tell 100% that it was the coronavirus, like looking at a lot of factors um, and also the symptoms, et cetera, et cetera. So for me, it lasted about 10 days. Um, and I've had a variety of different illnesses in my life, uh, and different severities or whatever. But I'd say the coronavirus, for three, out of, for three out of those 10 days, it was, I'd say, like the top three worst conditions or illnesses I've had. Um, so, and in that top three also was scabies. I don't know if many of you, knew, you know about that, but for scabies, like, it wasn't exactly like the immediate effects of how intense the scabies was. It was more so the long-term effects of just knowing that it's bugs like in you, you know what I mean? That you can't get out unless you get this prescription cream and you're waiting for the dermatologist appointment and hoping that it'll get rid of it, uh, that cream, and then on top of it, not come back again, like not re get reinfected from clothing or any cloth material that's in your house or whatever. Uh, and then another thing too is it made me not sleep. Uh, as well over time or whatever, because um, overnight is when scabies more so bite, which what it does to uh, people is like it makes you itch or whatever. Um, but yeah, I was basically making like my mental health kind of crazy of like not being able to sleep as much and it was getting worse and worse over time. And I was like, I really hope like it is gone uh, when I get the cream um, and that treatment. Uh, because I wouldn't have been able to last longer because it takes like one to three weeks for like the itching to go away uh, because it's like the dead dried eggs or whatever making it 
picture. But... All right, I got sidetracked. So, not scabies, not coronavirus, the effects. It was like 10 days for me. Seven out of those 10 days, it just felt like, you know, the flu or felt like a really bad cold. Um, and also another, th another background about me is I'm 24 years old. Uh, my health is relatively fine. Uh, there's no, um, you know, uh, things that like put me more so at risk of the coronavirus of like dying or whatever of my knowledge. But yeah, so three out of those 10 days though, I was on my sofa, like felt like I was dying. I could barely breathe. Um, very difficult to breathe and like, I, was, I don't know, like my mom is usually the person that says like toughen stuff out, you know what I mean? So that's kind of what I did. But it was just like, it was horrible. Barely, barely, barely breathe. I felt like I was literally dying. Um, so, um, that was that. Uh, I didn't have the symptom of having a fever, which was interesting. Um, but I had other symptoms, uh, but yeah, the biggest thing that for me was, it was very difficult to breathe. Uh, but what things can help, uh, of my knowledge, potentially, any of you that get the coronavirus? Sleep, obviously, that's like kind of for most things. Um, I guess like enough liquid, drink enough liquid. Um, and then also what helped ha uh, what helped for me was like a little bit was having like spicy ramen or whatever. But it only helps like a little bit. You know what I mean? You could use that for like the flu or um, the common cold and it can help a little bit but like, you know, it didn't help that much. Um, but yeah, no, it was it was not fun at all. Let's hope the pandemic ends sooner than later. Uh, but I'm guesstimating that it will end minimum 2022. Uh, and what I mean, what do I mean by pandemic? I mean, like, get back to a normal life uh, and like, there being enough vaccines or whatever or that like it's not a pandemic anymore you know what i mean minimum 2022 but i think being realistic it'll be like late 2023 maybe maybe 2024 i don't know maybe there might not even be a vaccine but to be determined but it's seeming uh, on this track that there may be they also said Leaders from all over have said, oh yeah, we're gonna have a vaccine by January 2021. I'm not so sure about that. That's in, a, that's in like a couple months from now. So we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, so be careful, wear a mask outside, you know, um, protect your loved ones, protect others, you yeah. know. Use protection, you know. Uh, so, I'm gonna skedaddle. All right, that's my experience with coronavirus. Yeah.